All right, today we're gonna do our water collection system for a micro cabin, so stay tuned. So we're using our micro cabin primarily for storage at the moment, but we don't have a way to collect water. And we really wanted to do that for this area because in the spring, we intend to have some plants up here. So we wanted to have easy access to water, even though the creek is right there, we just want to have the water runoff from the roof of the micro cabin available to do that. So that's what we're going to do. And it's going to be the same type of system as we use for our outdoor shower, but I didn't really film that. So this should give you a good overview. All right, so I'm gonna put a two by four across here. Whenever I built the micro cabin, I didn't include that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put one up now, and that's going to be where the gutter system hangs, and that'll be where the water collection goes into. All right, so now I have this two by four in place. It's just gonna be a matter of putting the clips up for the gutter system and then sliding the gutter into place. We're using four of the clips here at two foot intervals for an eight foot section of gutter. This piece slides onto the gutter to allow for easy attachment of the drain down to the barrel. Okay, and where I'm going to cut into the gutter uh, for it to go down, I whenever I drew the square where the water is going to go down here, I'm not gonna cut a square because my intention is to put this at the top of it inside the gutter to uh, minimize the leaves going down. But that gives me a good starting point. And you can see from this part right here, I have quite a bit of space to uh, cut. So I'm more or less going to cut a circle right about here, or not quite a circle because I'm going to be using an oscillating tool, which is going to make cutting this very easy. All right, now I have the hole cut. It's not perfect, doesn't need to be. Now I'm able to move this part right back over and that way all the water from the cutter will go down this spout here. Okay, now I'm putting the end cap on the gutter itself. It already has uh, some sealant built into it. So it's just a matter of getting it lined up correctly and then snapped in place. Okay, right now I'm using a laser level. I don't know if that's completely necessary, but what I wanna make sure of is that the angle of the gutter is going down toward the spout. So I'm not gonna have any standing water back on this side. All right, you can see here that I've bent this piece down here to fit into the, uh, the hole that we cut. And so that should help prevent the leaves from going down the uh, gutter. Now I'm laying down a little bit of rock where I'll rest the post I'll be using as supports for the barrel itself. All right, so the openings on the barrel are a little bit too small for what we wanted to do. So on the other side of the barrel, we cut out with a jigsaw, a little bit bigger circle that we can put this into. So where the water comes from the drain, it'll go directly into here. And uh, it's already in a recessed area, so it should allow the water to go in fairly easily. And it's got a little grill here, so it'll keep most things from going in. All right, this is a flexible drain. It'll get the water from the gutter down into the barrel. On our shower system, we had it very tight between where the water came through the gutter down through the barrel. And so we didn't have to do any uh, thing extra because the, it was very tight and it kept it secure. But with this one, we intend to have this slightly above it. So we're, but this one we can pull out as much as we need to, position it right where we want it and we should be fine. We attach the drain spout to the gutter system. I put in this board here uh, because I didn't have a good way of securing it. So I have the board, I cut a little semicircle in the back, put a couple of screws in with a piece of wire here, 
I'm hoping it's not going to rub too much and cut through the gutter. And then we have it going down here to about an inch above uh, where the actual hole is. But the hole for the water to go into the barrel is in a recessed area on top of the barrel. So the water should easily be able to go in. All right, so we have the barrel in place on top of these posts because I wanted to make sure it got raised a little bit because I'm gonna be installing a spigot and I wanted it to be able to do it high enough but still get most of the water here to where we can either put it in this bucket or connect a small garden hose to it. So we're finishing up with the barrel. Uh, we have the spigot installed. Uh, this is a 55 gallon um, barrel. We're going to put on the outside of it here, non-potable water, because this is strictly going to be for watering flowers, other plants that we're gonna have here. Um, we're never gonna drink this. This is more or less just water runoff that we're going to be giving directly back to the plant. Um, we have the drain secured here. We tried it out, it worked great. Uh, it took us about an hour to put this all together. So, and I know there are other ways to do it, but we wanted to do it in a way that we knew was gonna work for us. And uh, like I said, so this way was fairly easy, it took about an hour, uh, and I'll put the uh, total cost for what we spent on this project um, in the video here. Okay, and with our uh, shower system, we have a black barrel if the, if the barrel is dark colored, it minimizes the algae growth inside. This is strictly, like I said, going to be for watering plants uh, around this area. Um, we, we will put bleach in as needed, just uh, to minimize the algae growth. It, it's not gonna take a lot, but we'll just put a little bit of bleach, liquid bleach in as we need it to minimize that issue. All right, that's gonna wrap up our water collection uh, system on our micro cabin. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe and follow us on our adventures, please do so. If you have any comments or suggestions for us, let us know and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Just wanted to kind of show you here, we're working on another project, uh, elevated cabin. Plus we still got all this wood from whenever the trees fell uh, about a couple months ago. So it's been a few projects around here. We got quite a few more, so stay tuned. See you next time.